So here we are one day after the Super Bowl and every body language expert from here to Timbuktu are analyzing Taylor Swift and her football boyfriend's body language. It's, it's all the rage. I mean, give me a break. It's just two young people in love at a stupid football game. <laughs> Get a life. But there is another story here. I mean, why did she have to go down to that level? To find a mate. Why? I mean, she's a very rich, young, beautiful lady. Why did she have to go down to that level? I mean, everyone knows they are the odd couple. Only poor girls latch on to sports stars and have a baby and get child support for eternity. I mean, everybody knows that athletes are prone to violence and bad behavior. That's how the poor sluts catch on to them so easy. But... I think the real story is here is why did she have to go down to that level? There's no really eligible bachelors at her level anymore. Now, 50 years ago, here's the big deal. 50 years ago, there would have been many, many men that Taylor could have had or tried to get. I mean, 50 years ago, uh, Taylor would have had guys like Steve McQueen, maybe Paul Newman, uh, maybe Tony Curtis. Possibly Lee Majors, Burt Lancaster, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on and on. But no more. Not today. All those men are missing today because Hollywood has blacklisted men like that today. Hollywood doesn't carry men like that today. Hollywood doesn't give the million dollars to men like that anymore. So Taylor Swift, she had to hunt somewhere else. I mean... Signs of our times, I guess. In balance, messing up kids forever. That's what the elites are doing. The elites are screwing up have the, the elites, the people with the money. The people who get the money from the Federal Reserve Banking Cartel first, they are screwing up our country and have been for over 50 years. But what do I know? I'm just an over-the-hill gambler from Vegas. Just give me a 7-Eleven and a horn bet. I mean, please. Press parlay and get me another Taylor Swift, please.